Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video today this is my second tutorial in a two-part series that I had here on my YouTube channel. This is the special effects portion of the Black Dahlia Chelsea Smile. I'm starting out with a nude lip liner from Essence and I'm looking at a reference photo here to try to get a close enough match of the shaping of the mouth and I'm just going to lightly outline that so I have a guideline of where I'm going to be placing my latex. So to create the mouth, I'm taking little cotton wool makeup pads and I'm going to rip them into pieces. I'm going to use a Q-tip to apply some latex onto the outline of the mouth. I'm then going to lay down some of the cotton wool in thin little strips to try to keep to the shape of the cut. Then to seal all of that in place, I applied another thin layer of latex straight over the top of the cotton wool. After that started to dry and get tacky, I decided to use the end of my tail comb, which was the only sharp object that I had around at the time, and I started to slowly peel down the excess latex to get it nice and lifted off of the skin. Then I'm going in with the end of my tail comb because I felt like that was such a better applicator, and I started applying thin layers of liquid latex into the shape of the right hand side of my face. This is the more intricate um, cut that she has on her face, the poor thing, so I needed something that was a bit more precise than a Q-tip. I did the exact same steps here, just layering up liquid latex and thin pieces of cotton wool. I just had to be a lot more precise. After I outlined the area, I then went in with some more liquid latex and applied that on the inside of the cut, and I used this to mottle up the appearance and make it look nice and chunky. To speed up the drying time, you can use a hair dryer set on cold. As you guys can see, this side of my face has not completely set, but the opposite side has. It goes that clear off yellow colour, and I'm just going to colour it anyways because I'm a little bit lazy. As long as the outside is dry, it's totally fine to colour, but I do recommend waiting um, if you have the time. So whenever I'm colouring my latex work, I always recommend using a concealer. It's more true to the colour of your natural skin, and of course it has that much more coverage and pigment to it. I'm going to apply that straight over the top of the latex, and then I'm just going to blend that out with a concealer brush and a beauty blender. Next I'm taking a coral colour. This is a grease paint from Ben Nye, and I'm just going to be applying this really roughly all over the whole entire prosthetic with a paintbrush. This is going to give a really nice sore and irritated colour to the skin. You can use any type of product that you have, whether it be an eyeshadow, a lipstick, or a grease or a cream. I prefer working with these because they're a lot easier to blend into the skin. I'm then just going to tap over the top of it with my fingers to really melt the product into the skin and blend it away nicely. But as I said, anything that you have in this colour will do. After that, I'm going to move on to applying a base colour for the inside of the cut. This is the colour Capillary Stipple from Ben Nye, and again, it is just a cream or grease based makeup. And I'm going to be applying that and slightly extending out the smile as well, just past where I've applied the latex cut. This is going to be a really sparsely applied base for the colours we're going to be laying on top. Because Capillary Stipple is such a blue based red, I wanted to add some more warmth into the smile, so I grabbed a really warm red and applied that straight over the whole entire prosthetic. I then blended that into the sides and the edges as well. I was quite messy with this application just because I wanted to liven the look up a little bit. Now that the mouth is looking nice and messy, I'm going to go in and apply some shadow to add some depth. I'm going to be using a fine detailing brush and the Ben Nye Grease Cream Paint in the colour navy blue and I'm going to be applying this just in little chunks and underneath little bits of the skin to really give it some depth and on the slip side I'm just going to apply it straight down the centre nice and chunky and really uneven like just to give it some more texture as well because we had such a block red there. Now I'm going to go back in with some lipstick. This is my Jeffree Star lipstick in the shade Red Rum and it is a liquid lipstick so it's going to set and not move anywhere and I'm just going to tidy up my Cupid's bow and apply a more pigmented colour on top. Next I'm going to start applying a scab blood. This is in the brand Ben Nye and this is just called Fresh Scab. I'm going to be applying chunks of this all over the wound to make it look nice and glossy, nice and shiny. And as you guys can see the colour of this is very blue based and it works really well because we've applied so many layers of the really warm toned reds underneath. So it's just all of those different types of layerings of different colours. So if you guys are happy with the look, you could just leave it here, finished off with the scab blood, but I decided to go in and apply a little bit more of the scab blood 
on my lips just to make it look a little bit more messy and I then kind of buffed out the edges as well with my fingers to get that little soft splatter effect but if you guys are happy with the look you could just leave it here as it is me personally I decided to add a little bit more warmth back into it just to finish it off so I used this fake blood this is in the brand Kensington Gore and it's in the shade Vanal I feel like the colour of this fake blood is very unique because it has a really yellow and brown based colour to it so when you apply it on top of the other colours it just shows up as a blue based blood but as you guys can see when I start to stipple it over the whole entire wound and smear it out it really shows its true colours which is great because it's very versatile to use. I'm going to be just um, buffing that in all over the wound giving it a nice splattered effect and then I'm going in with a damp q-tip that's just got some water on it and I'm going to smear out that fake blood to give it a more realistic look. I feel like I could have gone even less with the blood but once you apply it it's quite hard to remove it so um, if you guys are doing this look add as little or as much blood as you want but if I could go back in time I would just remove a little bit more of the blood. But overall I was really happy with this look, I feel like it was super realistic, especially the side that was just a slit, if it would have been a perfect Chelsea smile, it would have been my most realistic one that I've done yet to date. So I hope you guys all really enjoyed this tutorial, that pretty much wraps it up. If you guys recreate any of my tutorials, please tag me on Instagram because I would absolutely love to see your work. I'm still doing my subscriber showcase, it is closing soon, so don't forget to tag me on anything that you want to be featured on my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen the beauty portion to this tutorial, I will leave the link in the description box below. I thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye.